I'm Claire Goforth, head of the High Res Division at the Daily Dot. I'm standing in downtown Jacksonville. City Hall is behind me, and across from that, James Weldon Johnson Park. Jacksonville, Florida has a long history of struggling very hard for civil rights and also pushback against it. Over the past several years, the environment here has become what many view as more welcoming to white supremacist groups. At the same time, there's been efforts to push back against those groups by civil rights organizations and the city government itself, which took action against groups that were displaying Nazi symbols on large buildings downtown during major events by an outlaw that practiced so that Jacksonville wouldn't have a reputation for being so welcoming to white supremacists. Here in Jacksonville, the feeling remains that there is a certain contingent of people who are very much okay with having racist ideology um, infecting the community, and then a very large contingent of people who are vehemently opposed to it. The question is, who wins in the end? We'll see.